Here we have the AutoDS dashboard. Let's go over each of the features to see what each thing does. So the first thing we have up here is the dates which you can set your from and your to, and to which you will be able to see your total profit, the total number of orders, your total revenue, and the total number of products which were uploaded during this time. The next thing you'll see is a nice graphical chart showing you the total revenue, the product cost, and the total profit which you made during this time that you set over here. And the final thing which is affected by this time box up here is this overview box showing you the average profit, the average sell order cost, the average buy order cost, the max profit on each order, and the total products cost. The next thing that you'll be able to see is your top selling tags, which can also be set from this timeline over here, your from and your to which will show you the top selling tags which were sold during this time over here. We don't have any over here for this demo, but you can just use your imagination. And this box over here shows you your top five selling products during this timeline, which you can set your from and to over here. So when you have your top selling products and your top selling tags, you can use these two columns to see exactly which items are going well for you and upload more variants that are like them, more products that are similar to them in order to further multiply your success. The next feature that we have on AutoDS is the search field up here. So any word that we search for, AutoDS is going to look for it in the orders, products, in a drafts page, or anywhere else that it may be. So for example, if I search up the term mask, we already have two results. Both of them are in the drafts section. Both of these items have the word mask in them. That's why we see it in the search result here. So you have the search engine. You have the notification button over here. When you click on it, you can see everything that's new in AutoDS, whether it be blogs, newsletters, and so forth. The next button next to that takes you to the help section of AutoDS. And the button next to that is your user settings. That sums up the AutoDS dashboard. Use it to get a full overview of what's going on with all of your e-commerce stores.